reminds me of the West Indies team during their Halcyon days in the 70s and 80s. When every country that they went to, they were loved. The cricket supporters loved their country, yes, but they loved the West Indies second. We were perennial favorites wherever we went. And I believe that India now holds that mantle. Of course, you may know that coming from Trinidad and Tobago, the majority of my population is Indian. Of course, many moons ago with the indentured uh, labor scheme, um, we are now 44, 45% of an Indian population. And of course, a melting pot of Africans and Chinese and Syrians and everybody else. So, West Indies missing out on the World Cup, there's only one team for our support. And at 4.30 in the morning, I can promise you, a lot of Trinidadians, a lot of West Indians were getting out to support India. And as I said, the end result was not something that we were looking for. But this is how it is, this is how sport is played, and you have to take the good with the bad. And um, I can say personally that I'm very proud of India. I can just tell you one more thing though. In six months time, I would not be supporting India. I'll be supporting the West Indies. The way in the 2023 World Cup with the player of the tournament trophy. And I know a lot of people will say or already said it doesn't matter. India did not win the World Cup. Even in Varad's mind, he'd be saying, I would give this trophy up just to hold the big one. But really and truly, Sport, team sport is about winning and you as an individual player have to have that as your number one motivation. But what is a subsidiary of that? A subsidiary of team success is individual success. And that is what Virat Kohli did for India match after match throughout the World Cup. Now, that did not impress me because the man is capable of anything. What impresses me most about Virat Kohli is his true legacy. He has changed the face of cricket and how you prepare for cricket, the preparation of cricket, the way, the discipline that he has, the commitment that he has. And I have a son and I can tell you, if my son had to play any sport, and he's allowed to play any sport, I'd be using Virat Kohli's commitment and dedication to not just his craft, but whatever else it takes to become a number one sportsman. Now, I want the Indian team to know I'm 19 years old, and I picked up the newspaper and I saw a 16-year-old Indian batter struck in the nose by a 90 mile per hour delivery from a Pakistani fast bowler. And let me tell you something, when I was 16, luckily nothing touched me because I might have given up the game because I know a lot of friends who thought the ball was too hard, they were batting with all the tight pad and they stopped batting. And if anybody saw blood at the age of 16, I can tell you right now, I can go to the Queen's Park over in Trinidad. I can meet them at the bar, and they will still be talking about their premature resignation or retirement from cricket, but not Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin Tendulkar got up, went back to bat, and saved India a test match at the age of 60. <laughs> now, I went to Australia in 